Speaker. A call Denise Roche. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's my pleasure to rise to take a call for the Greens on this, the um, uh, Passport Amendment Bill. Um, we are, of course, supporting this bill, like all the other parties in the House, uh, basically because it's a sensible bill um, extending, uh, to extend the life and validity of passports from five years to ten years, um, to have that reintroduced, reintroduced um, is a very popular move and something that lots of people in the community have actually been lobbying for for some time now. I also note that um, with this bill we modernise the Passports Act of 1992 and we bring it into line with many of our neighbouring countries um, and our friends overseas. So other speakers have actually talked about the fact that Kiwis love to travel and there is no doubt about that. I guess if we're extending our passports back to 10 years again, it gives us a longer period of time in which to collect those wonderful um, visa stamps that, uh, that you can collect along the way. Five years for me wasn't enough really to get enough in there to make, like, make it feel like it was worth, worthwhile. And I think... Um, I think we should actually reflect on the fact that Kiwis who do travel and are protected by those passports um, do, are protected by New Zealand citizenships as well. And that gives me a pause to reflect essentially on those New Zealanders, those citizens of New Zealand who have New Zealand passports, who are currently being detained in Australia illegally, where their human rights are basically being breached because they're being detained on places like Christmas Island, essentially um, about to be deported, but detained without legal rights because they're going to be deported because of that country's um, regulations around, uh, around deportations there. And I think, you know, in New Zealand, we would have learnt from the mistakes and our government really Order should... Order the member needs to come back to the bill. Oh, OK, certainly, sir. There was passports in there a little bit. Yeah, just not enough. Carry not on. enough passports. <laughs> OK, then. So back to this bill, sir. Um, we, are, we are satisfied that the security issues... I don't, I've, we're not Tere Kartini got away with it. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, back to the bill, sir, and I take your point. Um, Satisfied, we are satisfied, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the committee was satisfied, that the security issues that were raised as a potential flag were addressed. Um, and I was, I was pleased to hear the Minister in his, um, his opening speech for this reading saying that security will be reviewed from time to time. And, um, and that, is, uh, yeah, that is very reassuring. Um, we're also pleased to see uh, that the costs of the passports have been kept down to as much as we possibly could. Um, and that was a concern that was raised by the few people who did submit on it. But we are extending the time frame, the validity of the passport from five to 10 years. So it's, uh, it's obvious that there will be an increased cost for that. Um, and we, it's the Greens as well, are also pleased to see that within this bill, um, it standardises the refugee papers, which will be extended from two years to five years, which is around the same amount of time that refugees have for seeking residency. And, um, and so it reduces that anomaly as well. Sir, I want to also congratulate the Government Administration Select Committee. I sat in on that committee um, because I am the immigration spokesperson for the Greens. Um, our usual person is Mojo Mathis. Um, but I want to um, thank the committee members, the permanent committee members, uh, for the detail and, uh, and care that they took in scrutinising this bill and considering it. We will, of course, be supporting it. Um, and we commend it to the House. Mr Speaker. Paul Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr.